honeymoon horrors caught on tape. It's supposed to be one of the best times of your life. That opportunity for couples to decompress from their wedding and the world and take the ultimate adventure. But sadly, these trips are turning tragic and giving new meaning to till death do us part. And I have to warn you, some of the images you're about to see could be disturbing. We really don't know when our time is up. We don't know if it's gonna be nine days after you're married. From water disasters in paradise to helicopter rides from hell. Some couples on their way to happily ever after wind up in the suite hereafter when accidents on honeymoons go horribly, horribly wrong. Who can forget the Grand Canyon chaos earlier this year when a sightseeing helicopter carrying British newlyweds Ellie and Jonathan Udall crashed before sunset. The fiery aftermath caught on camera. Incredibly, Ellie and other passengers, though hurt, managed to climb out. Jonathan, trapped for eight hours, was finally rescued, only to die later at a Vegas hospital. Tragically, his wife succumbed to her injuries and would follow him to the grave just two weeks later. In another copter crash, another bride was killed minutes before her wedding a few miles from the ceremony. Hosa Mary planned to surprise her groom with an aerial arrival that sadly went south. These are the Brazilian beauty's last moments alive. The bride, her brother, the pilot, and the photographer, six months pregnant, all perished. The shocked groom had no idea what his wife-to-be was planning when he received the news of her death at the altar. Newlywed and travel expert Sandra McLemore says these tragic trips happen more often than we think. When couples get married, they're so excited. They're so in love. They're doing things that really push the boundaries and doing things that really put their life at risk. In Honduras, another marriage ended midair when honeymooners collided in a freak zipline accident, suffering major injuries on impact. Zipline staffers in orange hats were seen carrying the couple's bodies out of the forest. The groom did not survive. The bride was flown to the U.S. for medical care. And in cases like these, survival comes at great cost, literally. Here's the thing, Medicare, private health insurance, they often don't cover you when you're abroad. A few nights in a hospital can end up costing you tens of thousands of dollars outside the U.S. Back in the States in Utah, these adventure seekers were driving to their destination, banking on biking Whistler Mountain. But their road trip took a wrong turn when Amy, drowsy and driving, fell asleep at the wheel. She rolled their truck right in front of their friend's eyes. When I got to him, I knew right away they were gone. The couple was pronounced dead at the scene just 13 days after being pronounced man and wife. So these tragedies, unfortunately, are happening more often than you think. My biggest advice to honeymoon couples is don't skip on the insurance. And let's hope you'll never need it, but if you do need medical care while you're abroad, or even worse, have to bring a body home, at least be covered. Travel expert Sandra McLemore also tells us for less than one month's car insurance, you can buy global travel insurance that covers two people for an entire year. It protects more than scratches and dings. It can literally mean the difference between life and death.